Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of videos. In this video we will be discussing about the type conversion in JavaScript. So if you want to download this video then you can go to our website and over there in the download section you can get uh, the presentation PPT of this particular video. So I've taken most of this content of this video from javascript.info website. So you can also visit the javascript.info website for some notes or you can also visit in the download section for the presentation PPTs for this video. And if you want to take our courses then you can visit our course section. So this video is helpful for examinations like UGC net and KVS or any PGT examination that can be for any state or sometimes it also helps you in some other examinations also where JavaScript is a syllabus. So let us start. So in this video we will be discussing about the type conversion. So type conversion is converting one type to another type. Let me just give you a simple example of type conversion with the help of C language code because I know that all of you are familiar with the C language code. So in the C language when you convert one type to another type for example if I am taking uh, this main function and I am taking float a is equal to 3.6 I am taking integer b is equal to 5. Now if I try to do a plus b, now because a is a floating point number and b is an integer number, therefore the result that we are going to get will also be a floating point number. So result will be a floating point number. And we can store that floating point number somewhere here in the result. Okay. Now that is a different issue that uh, what is the type casting you are doing. So that's a different thing but again here we are discussing about the type conversion that means if you uh, perform some operation in two different type then how the types are converted with each other. Okay. So let us just read out the PPT. Most of the time the operators and the functions automatically convert a value of right type to the right type that is called type conversion. So for example alert automatically converts any value to a string to show it mathematical operations convert values to number. So let me ex explain you with the examples here. So here you can see that, you see that I've taken a JavaScript uh, program here. So this is an HTML tags. In this HTML we are embedding some JavaScript code and we are using use script that means we are using modern version of JavaScript. So modern JavaScript and here first let me just change the color of the pen that will be much better and here you can see let value is equal to true so this is a boolean type so we are giving a boolean value therefore this variable is a boolean variable this is a boolean variable okay now when i do alert type of value so obviously it is going to turn that this is a boolean type of variable and we have already seen this type of uh, function in the previous video now if I do value is equal to string dot value here this string is actually doing a type conversion type conversion means this was a boolean value now because of this this boolean value is converted to a string now if I try to do type of value then it is going to give us a value so that means I have converted one type of data variable to another type of data variable let me explain you with better examples here so here you can see uh, I have taken a simple javascript code so this is your HTML code and here we are having the JavaScript code and here I'm using alert double inverted comma 6 divided by double inverted commas 2. Now you can see if you use using double inverted comma 6 that means 6 is a string. In the same way if you use double inverted commas 2 that means 2 is a string. So basically you are dividing a string by a string. Okay, so when you are using a division operator, these strings are automatically converted to uh, your numeric values. So that means there's an implicit conversion here. So this is an implicit conversion that is they are automatically converted to numeric values. So even if we are using string, but because we are using a division operator, so division operator is converting this six divided by two to a uh, in, to a number that means I'm going to get three here as the answer okay let me explain you with better examples again so here you can see uh, in this JavaScript code I'm using use 
then I'm creating a variable here which is str. In this str variable, I'm trying to store a string. So this one, two, three is a string. So when you try to uh, get the type of the string, it will say this is a string. So again, I've taken one more variable here and in this variable, I'm converting this string to a number. So in this case, when this is stored in this, it is converted to a number. If you do again type of num, so it is going to give us a type as number. So you can see with the help of this uh, type conversion. So this is, a, uh, this is a format of type conversion. You can convert a string to a number. Okay, I hope that this is not so difficult because see most of you I feel is already familiar with some other programming language that can be C, C++, Java or any other programming language. So most of you are already familiar with the programming languages. That is why I think I don't have to explain you in greater depth. Okay, so here you can see um, I'm taking let age is equal to number. So here uh, this entire is a string. This is a string. Now if you try to convert this string to a number, it cannot be done. But if you try to do number of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, now these are numeric values, even though these are presented as a string. So still a type conversion can happen and this will be converted to a number. But here you can see clearly this complete is a string. And here you can see if we are trying to convert this entire set of characters in numbers, it cannot be done. So when you try to print this age then you can see it is going to turn nan which is uh, saying that this is not a valid value and conversion failed so the output will be nan in this case okay so there is a, it, it shows that it is not a valid number so for example if you try to convert an undefined value to a uh, to numeric value so it will become nan for example if you do let let uh, num is equal to number number of the value undefined now in this case when you try to convert an undefined value to a number so in this case uh, in this num nan will be stored that is saying it is not a valid conversion so if you try to do let num is equal to number of null now if you are passing a value null, now this null value will be converted to a number as 0. So here in this num, 0 will be stored. So if you try to convert true with this, so if you try to do let num is equal to number and here you are passing the value true. So true means 1. So this true will be converted to a number which is 1. If you are passing a value false, now this false will be converted to a value which is 0. Okay. And then if you try to convert any string, so sometimes the strings, some strings cannot be converted to a numbers. Some can be, for example, if you have one, two, three, so this is a string. So this string can be converted to a number, but if you try to convert the string is read. -E -E okay. So you can see white spaces from start and end of the string will be removed. Then if the remaining string is empty, the result is zero. Otherwise the number is read, read from the string and gives an error, which is NAN. So if you try to convert one, two, three, that is also, that is fine. But if you try to convert, for example, X, Y, Z into number. So it is going, going to give you NAN as the output. So let me just show you with the better examples here. So here you can see, uh, I'm trying to convert one, two, three, and here we are having any number of spaces in the beginning as well as any number of spaces in the end here. So if you try to convert it, all these spaces will be removed or you can say they will be trimmed. Okay. And then one, two, three will be converted to a number. Therefore the output will be one, two, three. If you try to do one, two, three Z now, because of this Z, this cannot be converted. Hence the output will be NAN because uh, you cannot convert Z to a number. If you try to convert true, so it is going to give one. If you try to convert z false, it is going to give you zero as a numeric value or you can say as the number. Okay. Now again, uh, this something uh, special with this addition keyword. Let me just explain you with addition keyword. So, okay, this is a good example again. Uh, here you can see. I'm trying to convert one to Boolean. So because we are trying to convert one to Boolean, so it is going to print true. I'm trying to convert zero to Boolean. It is going to give you false. 
if i try to convert hello to boolean so any string which is a string that will be converted to true if it is empty you can see it is empty so if it is empty then it is converted to false so in case of boolean as you can see here in the previous slide in case of boolean if we are going to give a string or if you are going to give any number other than zero then this will be converted to true and if you are giving empty string empty string or if you are giving null or zero then this will be converted to false in case of boolean okay so empty string null or undefined values or any and all of them will become false i have uh, better examples here so some examples some good examples will come don't worry so from them you can explain you can understand everything more properly but here you can see here boolean uh you know double inverted comma zero so this zero will be converted to true but remember here this is a string this is a string so there's a difference if i try to do boolean zero so this is going to give you false if i try to do boolean double inverted comma zero this is trying to give you true because this is a string of length at least one even if i convert this double inverted commas to single inverted commas or backspaces backslashes again this uh, i mean uh, back characters which we have already seen in the previous videos how you present a string in those three cases it's going to give you true otherwise it is going to give you false and here because you can see uh, the string is empty but uh, there's a space here so space is also true so in this case if you just give without any space that is false if you try to give with space that is going to be true so this is going to get return, return a value which is true now you can see this convergence here so in the very first case uh, plus is a special case because in case of plus if you are using plus so plus is going to convert uh, if you are using here it is a string so it is going to convert this entire into a string so result will be 1 0 in the form of a string so plus is a special case now in the second case you can see here we have uh, inverted commas minus plus okay so in this case first this will be evaluated so this is going to give us a value which is minus one okay so i think i already missed some part for you uh, you can see here i've already done so almost all the mathematical operations convert values to number with the notable exception to plus so if one of the added values is a string then another one is also converted to a string so all the mathematical operators will give you a number but plus can give you a string so here if you see uh, if this will be evaluated first that means this one is converted to a string and then this will also be evaluated then therefore we are going to get one zero in the form of string it is not a numerical value so here but we are using a minus operator so because of this minus operator the result will be minus one so minus one plus zero is going to give us minus one and this will be a numeric value okay so true plus false so because it is a plus operator so plus operator is going to convert this to a number so true is one false is zero so it is going to give you a value one the next we have six divided by uh inverted commas three so that means this is a string so this is not a plus operator this is a division operator so everything other than plus is going to convert them as a uh, uh number so six divided by three is going to be two and this is a numeric value in next case we have multiplication so multiplication again is going to convert both of them in the form of a number so 2 multiplied by 3 is going to be 6 and that is again will be a numeric value in the next case uh, 4 plus 5 is going to be 9 so first this will be evaluated which is 9 so if we do 9 plus so because we are using plus because of this plus this entire will be converted to a string so it will give us 9 px as a result in this next case because a dollar is here so dollar 4 and so this is entirely converted to a string and then this result will be embedded with this therefore it is going to give dollar 45 as the result in this case we have numerical uh, this is subtraction value so because of subtraction so this four string will be converted to a number so it will be two uh, in numeric value next case here we have four px and here we have subtraction so subtraction means it has to convert this uh, numeric string the string into a numerical value but uh, px cannot be converted hence this is going to give us a value which is n a n nan or you can say it is not, not a valid value so 7 divided by 0 is undefined so this is basically an infinite, infinite value so it is going to give you infinity now we have again plus so we have minus 9 slash n 
plus 5. So here this entire string because of this plus this entire will be converted to string. Therefore the result will be minus 9 slash n5 and this entire will be a string. In the next case we have subtraction operation. So subtraction operation can only be done on numerical values. So slash means you can skip this value. So minus 9 minus 5 is going to give us minus 14. Next is null plus 1. Null plus 1 is going to give us a value which is 1 because null means 0. Now undefined plus 1. Undefined is plus 1 is going to give a value which is nan or you can say uh, not a valid value. Okay. So this will be the output of all these expressions. I hope that uh, these results and these expressions you understood properly. But if you still did not understood, you can repeat and rewind the video and you can also go through the entire PPT presentation slide because everything I've written in numerical, I mean, in no, formats also. So for example, if I'm explaining something, I've already written them in the form of this. Uh, you can see this uh, string or you can say uh, short uh, points about everything so you can just go through the ppt and you'll understand everything again so let us move on to the next topic here and if you have uh, any issues with understanding this particular presentation you can always contact me again i will make a video if you did not understand this so just let me know uh, i'll uh, if you need one more video for this i can again re-record this video again okay so in the next video we'll be discussing about the operators in javascript